Hello and well, welcome to the first of our Buckfastly Wild Watch films and this today we're going to look at uh, cob bricks and bees. Uh, the bees which nest in here are hairy footed flower bees and Thophora plumipes, their scientific name. And they love to nest usually in banks, in walls, but they also really like old cob, cob walls. And I was inspired by an old cob wall in Exeter to make these bricks. I've set them up in the garden and they've attracted uh, several of these bees to nest in here at the moment. So these bees are actually, they actually emerge as adult bees in the autumn, in September time, but they remain inside little nest cells inside the bricks here until the very first warm days of spring. So these bees will fly from the end of February sometimes, usually the first week of March I see them here, and it's usually the males which, uh, which emerge first. They're buffy coloured uh, with little yellow faces and they whiz around the flowers here. And then a little bit later the females emerge which are black with orange legs and they're the ones that are nesting in here. Uh, these are solitary bees, so there's about 280 kinds of bee in Britain, about 25 bumblebees, the honey bee, but all the rest of the bees are solitary bees. So this is one of those. Although they do nest in a group, um, each female has an individual nest and she'll go in there, take pollen in there and make a little cell and then lay an egg on that cell. And then here's one here, here we go. So this one that's, num that's the white bee. I've been marking all my bees, so I've got about 10 females here. And we may see her come out. She's gone to the right entrance, she knows where to go. And they also they can memorise exactly, so they have a visual memory of this block, so they know which hole is theirs. I've marked the bee with a white spot, so I'll put a little white label. And that's nest number one, because she'll make several nests during the course of the season. So these bees will live for a couple of months. So they emerge, as I said, about early March, but then they'll survive through April into May, sometimes into early June, depends on the weather. The better the weather, the more time they've got to actually uh, collect the pollen. And so the shorter they'll live actually. Okay, so the bees will come in here and at, at the moment they're either bringing in pollen or they're excavating new cells inside their nests. And so you can see here, there's various bits of spoil here coming out. And there's actually quite a pile of it here. And that's all being excavated from this brick. So what the bee will do is she'll go out and get some nectar or some water, probably just nectar actually uses, she uses. And she'll go in there, wet the mud, and then she'll chew it up with her jaws, I expect. You can't really see inside, but I expect that's what they're doing. And then they buzz their wings and sort of vibrate it all and break up the, uh, the mud. And here's one coming in now. So who's this? Here she is. So that one is the green one, that's perfect. So here she is. So what she's doing, she keeps going off, getting some fuel, because it's obviously quite energy demanding, digging out, um, and obviously gets a bit more nectar. Then she'll come in every few minutes, go into the hole, and then we might be able to hear her buzzing. We'll just drop back a bit, because they are a little bit wary of people being around. So if I sit very still, I'm okay. But if you're moving at all, they'll come into the nest and they'll think, mm, well, there's something there and they'll whiz off for a little while, but we'll just sit back and here she is again. She checks you out. She recognizes me now, I'm sure. And then there she is going into a hole. And then if we get in close, we might be able to hear her buzzing. She's certainly digging away in there. They don't go very deep into the hole there. She only go about a couple of centimeters. Um, and I think that's, due to the fact that when the bees are, want to emerge again in the spring, because the bees that, you know, from this, these eggs that she's laying now won't emerge until next March, but they want to be quite near the surface. And we've got two bees here. So there's the green bee come in. And this one, oh, this one actually isn't marked. This is the unmarked bee. Oh, that one's pink green. She's gone in this hole here. That's one I marked yesterday. I wasn't sure where she was going. So she's in there, she's excavating away. So I'll make her a little label. So we'll just uh, get her. And then 
plink. Pink green. So pink, green, um, so she's active, so that is definitely 10, so it's probably 11, because there's still an unmarked bee around. Oh, there's one whizzed off, um, so I'll stick her label on. The bees have an amazing navigation system, as all bees and wasps do. So they can actually memorise the uh, the brick there, and they know exactly where their nest is amongst all those holes. They can also memorise all the landscape around here, so they can navigate way way over there. They could go into gardens that have made. They have been known to go up to two kilometres away from the nest to find food. Although around here, I don't suppose they need to go that far because we've got so many trees for them to collect pollen from. So. There we go. So it's green, pink, and that's her first nest of us. I'll put a little one on there. And that's, that's another one labelled up. But we've still got another one. We've still got one here, which is excavating. So it's probably that unmarked one we saw earlier. Don't know we see. So when I mark them, um, what I do is quite tricky to catch them sometimes. But I either wait for them to go into a hole and then just put the tube over the hole like that and wait for it to come out and catch it that way. Once I've got it, I, I put it into the net and I don't want to actually touch the bee. So what I do is I just release it into the net and then hold the bee in the net like that. And then you can just mark the bee's thorax through the netting like that with the pen. And that works pretty well. So I just hold it for a few seconds, make sure it's dry. And then I just open the net up and let the bee fly away naturally. And then she'll, as you can see, they all, they're all fine and they're all coming back to their nests.